CPU manufacturers promise us the world when they sell us their technology. They promise us multi-thread performance, multi-core performance, high clock speed. But did you know that these cores actually go to sleep? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the maximum out of your CPU with just the click of a button. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech. Number one channel with the news on deck. In order to get the most out of your CPU without overclocking, you need to have full control over the power options within Windows. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called Quick CPU. You can download it here at coderbag.com for free. It's uh, the link is in description. And when you get get at this first page, you'll just scroll down to the bottom and you'll find the download. And it'll be right here. And you'll see there's one for 64 bit and for 32. If you have more than four gigs of RAM in a system that's you know less than 10 years old, most likely you're on a 64 bit system. You can go ahead and download and install that here. I already have it installed, and when I open it, it's first going to in to analyze my hardware. All right. Now the first thing that we've noticed is um, I have a six core, 12 core, 12 thread processor. So I have 12 logical cores, but six physical cores, and two threads per core, so that equals 12. I have four of the cores enabled, and eight of them are parked, which is um, a tech term for they're asleep. They're asleep for basically Windows thinks that they need to save power or that they're unused. However, should I need these, I have to wake them up, and that may cause a delay. Or you might be gaming, and maybe Windows isn't, isn't up to speed with what you're doing. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with its military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with the advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. So down here you'll see core parking index. Now when this is um, at 5%, that means 5% of the time it will not core park. If I set it to 100, it's going to never core park. It's never going to tell my, pro my processing cores or threads to go to sleep. Frequency scaling, when this is at a low percentage, it's going to drop the base frequency below, below where it's supposed to be. So my real-time frequency, my actual frequency, is 1.7 gigahertz. And this processor has a base frequency of 3.7 with a maximum uh, frequency of 4.8 gigahertz. <clears throat> Now if I increase this to 100%, it's going to maintain that base frequency, and if I put Turbo Boost over here, this is going to try to keep my processor at its maximum speed for as long as possible. Now if you have a good cooling solution in place, then you can go ahead and do this, but if you, if you find that you're constantly throttling and your CPU actually loses performance, well then maybe you should scale this back and just go with the other options such as removing core parking and setting the performance to high, which this is like setting the high performance setting in Windows Power Options. But Turbo Boost is a special power option where if we apply this, first off, it's waked up all my cores. There's 12 cores enabled, zero are parked, and my real-time frequency is um, over 3.7 gigahertz, and it'll go up to 4.6 as it's needed. Now, you can go through and fine-tune these by themselves, or if you just wanna do one click to do all of this, just click this right up here for maximum performance. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna do everything I just explained, but it's also gonna create a power uh, plan called Quick CPU Scheme. So it's gonna always remember this every time you boot up to always go to this maximum performance setting. So if you're a gamer and you have a good airflow in your machine, you have good cooling, this is not gonna push it to a dangerous um, temperature unless you have a laptop with very poor thermals and maybe it's kind of, it was a gaming type machine but it doesn't have great thermals then you might see it starting to get a little hot and you can go in here and fine tune it maybe you can reduce the frequency scaling or reduce the turbo boosting so you have more control over it even if you don't want to put it to the max you have more control i use this even when i have a machine that is way too hot 
Well, if the cooling solution inside like a laptop is way too, is not up to the standard and can't cool the laptop properly, then I'll reduce the turbo boosting and I'll get better performance because the machine works better the more it's cooled. If it's overheating, then the processor is going to naturally reduce its frequency to make sure it doesn't overheat. So we can click accept. <clears throat> and now we have a, our CPU speed is well above the base. And if I start pushing it, it's going to quickly um, reach those high potential uh, processing clock speeds instead of me having to just hope that Windows knows what it's doing. We have full control. So after that, we can close. And if we go into power options, and we'll go over to here, power options, we'll see we have these additional plans. This Your computer will have this too. Normally it has balanced or maybe your manufacturer's recommended one. But this one here is the one we just created with Quick CPU, where we've told Windows, don't park my CPU cores, and I want my turbo boosting to be as maximum as possible. I want my, <clears throat> my base clock speed to always be at the base and not reduce it. So this is, of course, is the opposite of Power Saver. Power Saver has a very low uh, base frequency. It's going to reduce you to, you know, m more than half of... Uh, of what the uh, of what the base processing speed is so it's gonna do all of that and a lot of people don't know this so they think that they have to overclock their CPUs but what they don't realize is is that even if you have set your your overclock to 5 gigahertz or whatever if Windows is telling it to slow down all the time that doesn't really mean anything so this is something I highly recommend that you guys try out and I in the next video I'm gonna be showing you actually how to make your CPU CPU go even faster Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope this was a benefit to you. I hope that you guys are getting the most out of your CPU and getting your money's worth on the products that you buy. If you like this, please hit like and consider subscribing. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm always having updates and clever stuff there. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, link is also in the description. And I will see you next time.